The military orchestra is now leaving Red Square to give room to the armoured column. Keeping the tradition, the combined military orchestra of the Moscow garrison provides the musical accompaniment for the parade. Honored artist of the Russian Federation, Major General Timofey Mayakin is the conductor. During the parade, the band performs over 50 marching songs and other musical pieces. You can now see the armored column featuring World War II era and modern military equipment. The first Guards Tank Army has the honor of opening the historical part of the parade featuring legendary T-34 tanks. Commander is Lieutenant General Sergei Kisel. During the war, the tank army engaged in battles from Kursk to Berlin, destroying more than 7,000 tanks, SPGs and APCs. As the T-34 tanks leave the square, we see the parade formation of SU-100 tank destroyers. Lieutenant Yegor Nazin leads the formation. During the war, these self-propelled uh, artillery guns destroyed enemy tanks and provided fire cover for the troops. State-of-the-art military equipment of the Russian armed forces is now joining the parade. The first to appear is the column of Tiger and Typhoon armored vehicles equipped with various types of remote control weapon stations. It is the 16th Separate Guards Special Purpose Brigade, led by Lieutenant Colonel Anatoly Vasin. Entering the square is the formation of the BMP-2M infantry fighting vehicles with the new Berezhok combat module and BMP-3 vehicles equipped with active protection systems that save lives of crew members in combat. It is led by Major Igor Matveev. And now joining the parade is the latest uh, Derivatsia PVO anti-aircraft artillery system, along with the Kurganev 25 and Armata platform IFVs, equipped with the Pocha and Kinjal weapon stations. The formation is led by Lieutenant Colonel Sergei Salahuddinov. You can now see tank support combat vehicles. They would support tanks and other armored fighting vehicles in urban areas. The column is led by Captain Alexei Tikhonov. It is uh, followed by a formation of T-72B3 main battle tanks of the 1st Guards Tank Regiment under the command of Captain Rinat Rafikov. In 
На брусчатке колонна газотурбинных танков Next is a formation of T-80 BVM tanks with updated gas turbines of the 200th Independent uh, Brigade under the command of Alex Captain Alexander Karnishin. The, deployed is, the brigade is deployed in the Arctic, just like it was during World War II. A parade formation of the 27th Independent Guards uh, Brigade is newest tanks and the T-14 Armata and the T-90M. It is led by Major Konstantin Usaltsev. Russia's uh, military and artillery troops are represented by the formation of the 236th artillery regiments that features the 152 mm self-propelled Mstyas howitzers and self-propelled guns Koalitia SV, led by Major Mikhail Malinin. These artillery systems are among the best in terms of fire power, rate of fire, reach and mobility. Now joining the parade is the Tornado AS multiple rocket launcher system of the 494th Artillery Brigade led by Major Andrei Abakumov. The Iskander M Missile System Division of the 112th Guards Missile Brigade is next to enter Red Square, led by Major Ilya Lobachev. The brigade was awarded seven times for successful World War II operations, such as liberation of Novorossiysk, crossing the Dnieper River and the Oder River, and the Berlin Offensive. You can now see the Tor M2 anti-aircraft missile systems of the 538th Tarnopol Guards Regiment and the Buk M3 missile systems of the 35th Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade. This parade formation is led by Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Molavin. These air defense missile systems can counter enemy airstrikes with a 100% success rate. A parade formation of the S-300 V-4 anti-aircraft missile systems of the 77th anti-aircraft missile brigade is led by Lieutenant Colonel Dmitry Gordiev. These systems can destroy maneuvering targets at very high altitudes and at very large distances. A parade formation of the BMD-4 and BTR MDM Aka Shell Infantry finding vehicles of the 106th Tula Guards Airborne Division is led by Lieutenant Colonel Dmitry Tomin. You can now see the new TOS. Uh, 1A, an upgraded model of the heavy flamethrower system. It is operated by the first mobile brigade of the forces that provide radiation, chemical and biological protection. It is led by Captain Yevgeny Spitsin. Uh, 
Next is the Task 2, the next generation of uh, heavy flamethrower systems. It runs on the Ural chassis and boasts a higher firing distance. You can also see remote mine installation vehicles that can install mines at a certain spot with high precision. It is led by Major Elnur Mingazov. Next is the anti-aircraft systems of Russia's airspace force. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Kutachov is leading a column of the Panzer S air defense systems and its upgraded version Panzer SM. The last in the column is the Arctic modification Panzer SA. You can now see the S-350 Vitaz and the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft systems of the 606th Guards Anti-Aircraft Regiment led by Major Denis Dvoyashov. No foreign air defense system has been able to match its capabilities till today. Next is the BAL coastal anti-aircraft system of the 536th Independent Coastal Artillery Brigade of the Northern Fleet. It features a command and launch modules as well as uh, transport vehicles. It is capable of destroying any targets in the sea and can protect the country's coasts. The column is led by Lieutenant Colonel Dmitry Skabelnikov. We can now see the Typhoon multi-purpose armored personnel carriers and Tiger armored vehicles of the Defense Ministry's military police units. It is led by Major Pavel Maximov. The armored vehicles have proved to be reliable support to the military police during the humanitarian and special operations in Syria, during convoy operations that delivered humanitarian aid, during joint patrols on the roads and at checkpoints. A mechanized column does of Rosgvardia, or the Russian National Guard, can be seen now. It is led by Captain Alexei Chervev. The National Guard can rely on such armored vehicles as Tigr, Patrol and Ural in any setting. Now, joining the parade are the Yars missile launchers of the 54th Guards Division of the Strategic Missile Forces. The column is led by Lieutenant Colonel Yevgeny Goncharov. It can be covertly deployed across vast territory and overcome existing and future missile defense systems. Missile brigades equipped with YARS systems form the core of Russia's mobile nuclear forces. The boomerang wheeled armored personnel carrier ends the procession of military equipment carrying flags from different branches of the Russian armed forces. Combat modules can be easily replaced, providing excellent cover for the personnel. Начинает 
It's now time for a fly for the flyover of the Russian Air Space Force. Early in the morning, 75 helicopters and airplanes of the Russian Air Space Force took off from eight airfields, came together in one area just outside of Moscow to fly over Red Square in a single formation. The aircraft will fly at an altitude of 150 to 400 meters at a speed between 200 and 500 kilometers per hour. First comes the world's largest transport helicopter, Mil Mi-26, escorted by four Mil Mi-8 AMTS. The group is led by Lieutenant Colonel Sergei Polyakov. They are followed by five attack helicopters, Mil Mi-35M, led by Lieutenant Colonel Gennady Golakov. Here come five Kamov Ka-52 alligator helicopters. The group is led by Colonel Vasily Kleshenka. The aerobatics team Berkut can be now seen in the skies on Mil Mi-28 and Havoc. The group is led by Andrei Popov. Here comes uh, Beriev A-50U, an airborne early warning and controls aircraft capable of tracking more than 50 targets at the same time, piloted by Lieutenant Colonel Vyacheslav Levchenko. Next is a group of three upgraded Illusion Il-76MD heavy strategic airlifters capable of delivering more than 40 tons of cargo to any part of the world. It is led by Major Sergei Melnikov. We now see a group of three Tupolev 295MS turboprop-powered strategic bombers. The leading pilot is Lieutenant Colonel Sergei Lyin. This aircraft is part of the Strategic Nuclear Force. Long-range air force is presented by one supersonic Tupolev Tu-160 variable sweep wing long-range strategic bomber and TU-22M3 strategic bombers. The formation is led by Major Alexei Volansky. We are now seeing the air-to-air -air refueling protocol over Red Square for TU-160 with Lieutenant Colonel Andrei Poznikov in charge. Piloting Il-78 is Major Andrei Parosinov. Next you can see four modernized MiG-29 SMT fighters. The group is led by Lieutenant Colonel Sir Georgi Dedio. We now see a formation of four SU-24M frontline bombers. The group is led by Lieutenant Colonel German Anakov. Next in the sky, over Red Square, we can see a group of MiG-31K heavy interceptors, heavily modernized and armed with the Kinjal, or Dagger, air-launched ballistic missiles. This aircraft is now a force to be reckoned with and a formidable deterrent. Leading the, group, leading the group is Major Yevgeny Shalagin. Next is the formation of SU. 57 fifth generation fight aircraft. Leading the group is Lieutenant Colonel Vladimir Paul Volotskov. Now approaching Red Square is a wing of 10 aircraft, including SU 34 bombers, SU 30 SM, and SU 35 S fighters. Leading the group is Colonel Yuri Gritsayenko. Uh, 
Next in the sky, you can see two Russian aerobatic teams ranking among the best in the world. The Russian Knights and Swifts flying SU-30 SM and MiG-29. The group is led by Colonel Andrei Alexeyev. As the tradition goes, closing the show is the parade formation of the Russian Air Space Force. Six Su-25BM attack aircraft coloring the skies over the capital of Russia with the colors of the flag of the Russian Federation. The group is led by Colonel Alexander Kartov. The combined military band will now play the Victory Die, a well-known tune to all Russians. The Victory Parade, to mark the 75th anniversary of the great victory in the Great Patriotic War, is coming to an end. The military band is leaving Red Square. The Victory Day is over. Glory to the 75th anniversary of the great victory. Hooray! Glory to the veterans of the great patriotic war. Hooray! Happy Victory Day to all Russians. Hooray!